so I'm up bright and breezy <laughs> again <laughs> with my head under ear. I've been uh, schooling around underneath actually, I'm uh, a little bit black. My um, Caroline's doing a nut, she's like, look at the state of your hoodie. And I've been lying, I've been actually lying on my high vis, but uh, it's quite a bit um, tight underneath. But I've been looking for these uh, exhaust sensors. So uh, I'll just show you what's happened. But uh, it's always a bit of a struggle to see it, to be honest, but the DPF is down over the back there. And there are two sensors on that. Um, and there was another two sensors down on the lower side of the DPF. They all come up and uh, plug in up this sort of neck of the woods. There's like plugs and stuff up here. Um, they all run down like a loom down over the, um, the, the trunk in the electrical trunk and down over the back there. Um, so yeah, I've just managed to squeeze a nice picture or tag in the picture of the underneath. So there's like a choice of four sensors to choose from. Um, so I'm not sure exactly which one. But anyway, in the meantime, there is the, there is the um, EGR pressure sensor. Now that one is, uh, I've been having a little route around again. It's really difficult. It's kind of behind this air box um, through the front of the engine. It's literally through there in behind. I don't know if you can see my finger. I don't want to get, I've just come out of the shower actually. So um, it's in behind there. We'll tag in a picture of that one as well. But um, so we got that one. That's a potential problem. Um, there's two pipes go into it and a electrical plug so there's that one or the options of these exhaust sensors in the DPF so um, I'm not sure exactly um, so it's still where are we gone where are we gone there they are um, it's still kind of like running okay at the moment um, with the light on it just takes a bit of driving um, in manual and um, but I'm just sort of like determined to get try and get to the root of the problem. If I could um, if I could uh, sort this problem out and sort of like just get over this um, while we're still over the uh, over the water, we might be able to sort of make a few more days of um, complete happiness in northern France. So we'll see what happens. But the trauma for me is um, the trauma that I've been having is like when you go in and you're trying to kind of explain this sort of stuff. It's um, very difficult, but um, I might even, I'm not sure wh whether to go for, so this little, um, little uh, DP, um, EGR, EGR uh, control valve is like a Bosch one. So um, it's almost like a Bosch dealership, but the other uh, ones I think are like Fiat really. But um, so, see what happens later one bonus we do have is the fact that we're in prime location here on this uh, canal and um, not only that we've got a uh, pack of bacon left in the um, the freezer box in the back so uh, always a bonus so um, that's good news another view of the camping car park here and uh, these places are just so neat so neat look at this look they've got uh, seating out here tables plenty of rubbish bins i'm just going to come come around this way with a uh, camera they've got all the uh, recycling bins up through here like up to the lock up there there's a little but we went up to the little bar and had a couple of beers last night and um right on the river look at this right on this canal look at that perfect Oh, first time I've actually seen a weight limit sign on one of these parks, 3.5 ton. But uh, same format, there's the machine and you can actually um, buy a card here, get your card, same thing, check your balance. It's all in um, English as well there, look. absolutely perfect. 
get the app. Water, drain, immense. French guy, I was just having a bit of a giggle with a French guy out there. He's um, got a fishing rod and uh, <laughs> I went over and asked him what he's after. He's like, fish, fish. But uh, as I said, uh, give us a shout if you winch out a big one. Boats. Down on the river. Canal, Joff, <laughs> canal. <laughs> Let's have a little look. See what's down here. So even the boats get hookups, get hoses. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Can you do it for boats? I don't know. <laughs> Camping car park for boats as well? I don't know. <laughs> That's mostly on a little bit further. Whoa. Oh, this is a funny looking one up here. Katarina. Like a proper little square thing. Oh, there's a, little, a couple of uh, outboard uh, engines on the back of it. Right, I'm going to return to base because I think I'm going to probably be in trouble again otherwise. Got to get the bacon, bacon baguette going this morning. So the uh, the guy that was doing the fishing got a nice little fish that beautiful. Look at the colour of that. That's amazing. Yeah, so we just uh, literally took the hook out and uh, put it in this bucket, and it's happy as Larry. And later on, he will actually put it back in in the canal. But, uh, so he's just literally just uh, catching a few fish, and then later on putting them back in. Yeah. Update time. We haven't killed the fear yet. <laughs> we haven't killed the. We're, we're still moving at the moment. But, but um, anyway, it's been a bit of a um, roller coaster morning. I'll just to um, let you know what's actually going on now. If you've been following this ongoing story, we're just working back. Like I think we've been um, just over a week now with this pole, and it's been like. Anyway, 
So this morning in Namur, Namur, just south of um, Paris, and a little sort of, right, okay, let's have another reassess. We're just trying to keep the trip together if we possibly can, you know? And uh, I thought, right, I found a um, place for automotive stuff. And it, anyway, it looked really, I, I rocked up and then I, I got there and I thought, ah, or is it just gonna be like a, almost like a whole Fords in England where they're just doing like bulbs and wipers and stuff. But um, anyway, I went in a bit optimistic. Right guys, have you actually got an OBD reader? And he is like, come with me. One of these. Holy smoke. Huh, there is a god. Right, okay, so we now have our OBD reader. There was no choice. There was one only. It looked okay. Um, so, anyway, straight outside. Right, let's get it plugged in. Let's see what uh, we got. Anyway, it's, um, so we literally had a injector open circuit, supply open circuit. So, okay, so we'll go for, was it a connection? Um, is it dampness in the wiring loom or something like that? We, I was thinking back the day before we had the first occurrences when we had the thunderstorm and we had a hell of a lot of water running down over the front of the windscreen. So it was kind of like, you just keep sort of piecing these things together thinking, it, has, has there water got in somewhere, like in, into one of the plugs or something like that? So anyway, I cleared it off, happy days, started up, it's gone. Holy smoke. Maybe it's just a stored foe. Fingers crossed. Right, let's get over, get some fuel, get the hell out, back on the payage. By the time I got to the fuel station, bing, back on. So it was a bit of like, ah. Uh, bit of a wrencher. Uh, anyway, we got back out on the motorway, and uh, so obviously it can be a bit of a trauma at <laughs> the best of times, driving around the Paris periphery. I didn't do any filming. The um, the censorship would have taken me too long. <laughs> Honestly, it was like, oh my God. But anyway, um, so that was that. We got clear of that. We're, we are 58 from Dieppe. We're heading up towards um, Ruin at the moment. And uh, we're nearly ruined um, uh, yeah so uh, that was that um, I'm driving this thing in manual at the moment if I sort of keep the pedal down um, give it a bit of a key off when I need the power back on on the slopes it's a prime time I'm just going past the truck and now my power my power starts easing off easing off I'm gonna have to dump a gear let's dump a gear we'll give it a kick Let's see if we can uh, retain some power. And uh, there goes the bleep. And uh, I think I'm just gonna have to, hopefully I'm just gonna keep the power on. I'm doing about equivalent to this lorry. I'm probably on about 56. I'm even with this lorry. Um, I've just re I've just stopped again. Uh, so I'm kind of like, it's go things are going through my mind. Open circuit, right, let's get into the, um, let's have a look at the injectors, the plugs on the injectors. So we've just pulled off into a services. I've got the headlight out again, got some plugs undone, got the cover off the top of the engine, um, undone all the injector plugs, WD'd them, WD'd them, hopefully um, still no joy. Uh, there is a, I might have another look later on, um, so yeah, that's that's the update at the moment anyway, so um, just to keep you informed on this ongoing saga. Catch you later. Yeah. So anyway, the story continues. We are sadly back in Dieppe on the on the um, the air. You know where we park in Dieppe. So uh, but anyway, we've 
we, we're li we're literally having a. Uh, this is mo this, this this is literally mo Rome life. Um, we've we've just been uh, bummed in the Wendy and John uh, from Leicestershire with their um, chanson, and it ended up sort of just getting the drinks out, um, reliving it a little bit of all our uh, uh, adventures. These guys are on their way back tomorrow at twelve o'clock, and uh, s unfortunately, so oh, are we. <laughs> I was really keeping my fingers crossed for another week in Normandy, just clinging on to the the hope, but. It looks like we're coming to back to find somebody to sort our uh, fear out in um, <laughs> we're, we're going back in the UK. Ford. We're going so Ford. They got a Ford. It's bloody reliable. <laughs> have you, have you seen Trev Newbury? Have you seen want. this? He's got a bloody, <laughs> he's got a bloody reliable. Ford without injector problems. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, uh, <laughs> no, ho hopefully, yeah. Well, it's all, it's all hanging on a knife edge all the time with my own life. But uh, anyway, we, we're sort of like, I'm, I'm a little bit more happier now that uh, it sort of ended the trip a little bit on a, uh, a bit of a high note, yeah. really. Bugger the van, we don't care, <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> we do, we do care, yeah. But uh, yeah. But we've met so, two lovely Yeah, couple, that's it. Yeah. And uh, he, he was actually running a caravan and camping club sites. He's an ex-warden. Look! A campsite warden! Oh. Right, that's it from us. Cheers! Cheers! Bye-bye! This video has an epilogue and the epilogue is, I forgot to mention, look at Wendy's nose. She's had major stitches in her nose. E-scooter? <laughs> yes, due to a electric scooter. <laughs> All right. But I could say that this, they did, the healthcare that I was provided was brilliant yeah, in yeah, France. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. And if you got your global health... health um, EHIC, like sort of yeah, a European yeah. health insurance and, card. And, and they charge the NHS when you get the yeah. plan, which is brilliant. But uh, well, just, what we're <laughs> saying... Her husband's well, going to take her stitches out well, for um, five minutes. He's got a pair of pliers <laughs> on the back of his motor home, but, um, and, and then he might whip my injector out as well. But, um, <laughs> but what we're saying is, e-scooters, be careful, folks, because you can seriously hurt yourself. Yep. Bye for now. <laughs>